Now let's get ourselves realigned to going the right direction, which is east. Yes, the arrow will point to east. And being nighttime, you get a music change. The music in this game is uh, either real bad or real good, depending on your taste, of course. And random enemies for the win. Now that we have a full party and our fighter is about to die, let's run away for this time. Don't worry, we still get experience for hitting our monsters. We can level up later. So let's go ahead and go forth. Avoid water. Water will kill you. Yes, it will drain your life until you die. Two points at a very rapid pace. And our gold guard here, who is a bit tougher. And fortunately, we got a level with our mage. Levels seem to be very random. You can actually gain two or three levels in one fight. And then not gain a whole bunch of levels for a long time, because this game is weird like that. And these guys, speaking of the AI, let's go ahead and watch these guys fight on their own. Losing their shields, of course. Power helmet. Yes, we got a fairly advanced helmet from them. But we have to transfer it from, who was it, the mage. Mages cannot use power helmets. Let's give it to our fighter, because we all know fighters can use helmets. And basically you got two categories of people, our scout and fighter. Scout turns tends to learn utility spells, while fighter learns just the basic strength and invisible. And that's a gator. And you don't want gators. Gators are bad for your health, so let's skedaddle them out of here. I'm trying to go through this in a manner that will promote your health. So you don't have to be watching it 24-7 like I am. And even when I'm right on it, I cannot find the dungeons. Because I get lost easy. And that is usually a bad idea. And the castle is here somewhere. Here, castle, castle, castle. Just gotta keep looking. And hopefully this guy doesn't get a cheap shot and kill me. Scout has reached level two and has learned how to light. And we get random pauses out of nowhere because this game likes to randomly pause on you. And I'm not just talking about the ROM, I'm talking about the game. Because when you base your Super Nintendo games off computer games, it does very weird stuff. They're spideys! Your spideys must die. And switching back to the map, I apologize. For you people who are still watching this, why you still watching this, I don't know. Because we must go southeast. And find, there it is. The Earth Princess's place. Fortunately for us, this is not a dungeon. This is merely a castle. With a one scene wonder. But what happened? They captured the princess. Cursed fire allies. Those bastards. So we must report back to the Earth Prince. And you know he's not going to be too happy with our news. Yeah, let's see if we can gain a little bit of access along the way here. And no, the shields are a piece of crap. Sometimes your guys will wander around aimlessly and try to get themselves killed because they do not know how to fight. And that's another bad guy. Oh, now that was a, just a cheap shot right there. Our priest just is dead. That's in the game with the two swords on her portrait. And of course, zero life. And of course, we're mysteriously disappearing from the face of the earth. And since I have no fish, uh, okay, look here. Let's go ahead and follow the path to our Earth Prince's castle. Please don't get a little bit of spiders. Please don't get a little bit of spiders. Please don't get a little bit of spiders. Please don't get a little bit of 
could sit here and restore health I just standing out here and just waiting for time to pass but unfortunately that tends to get you killed in the very early stages and why will it not run away I don't know if you want to restore health do it near a Ankla R castle just outside a castle because you can sit in there and no enemies will appear if you are just outside the vicinity. And where's our uncle on the way back so we can restore our life? Fortunately, he does it for free, so that's good. Because money. Money is a gun commodity. And restore magic spotlight treatment. Yes. How long has it been? I should have said that at the beginning. Oh darn. And let's get through this real quick. Blah blah blah. And he's going to tell us the exact same thing except landing on our mage this time. Wait for it. Ugly dragon! And here we go again with Dragon Dwapin. Dragon Dwapin is bad for your health. And some of you have wondered, why can't we just go around it? Well, we can't go into the water or fire sections yet, because an old man will pop up and go, bur, 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 bur. And speaking of old men, isn't it about time I get the air at Yes, I'm making you old. And now here's my least favorite part. And we're gonna save state just in case. You're gonna need a bigger boat. A shark will instant kill you. As seen in one of my intros. So the way to get past this is wait until its fin is on totally on the right side. Not under the ridge, because if it's under bridge, it will jump through the bridge and eat you alive in one bite. Because you are magically delicious. 